Hello everyone, welcome to Momji TV. In today's episode with Momji Explains, we are going to talk about the difference between magnitude and intensity. Lately, we have been experiencing powerful ground shaking. If you can still remember, Last 2019, powerful shaking were experienced, especially in the island of Mindanao. Do you remember when Mindanao was hit with 6.3 magnitude earthquake last October 16, 2019? And on October 29, just 15 days after the 6.5 magnitude earthquake, Mindanao was hit again by another 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake which damaged several properties and injured several individuals. In just barely two days from that powerful earthquake and people were still traumatized and very devastated with a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake, another 6.5 magnitude earthquake was felt that caused additional damages to several properties and recorded more injuries. In the Philippines, we get information from FIVOLX or Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, a service institute of the Department of Science and Technology that is principally mandated to mitigate disasters that may arise from volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunami, and other related geotectonic phenomena. FIVOLX publish this data in their website whenever there's a ground shaking. Now I want you to observe the encircled portion. It mentions the magnitude of the earthquake. Observe also those which are encircled with color blue. It says intensity. There are two ways by which we can describe how strong an earthquake is. The magnitude and intensity. So what's the difference between the two? Magnitude refers to the amount of strength or energy released by an earthquake at the focus. The focus is the point inside the earth where the earthquake started, sometimes called the hypocenter. And the point on the surface of the earth directly above the focus is called the epicenter. Magnitude is calculated from the earthquakes recorded by an instrument called seismograph. Magnitude is represented by Arabic numbers. Observe that, regardless of the location of the shaking, the magnitude remains the same. Unlike the intensity, it varies depending on the location. On the other hand, intensity refers to the strength of an earthquake as perceived and felt by the people in a certain locality. It is generally near the epicenter. Intensity is represented by Roman numbers, like these highlighted part. In the Philippines, the intensity of an earthquake is determined using the FIVOLX Earthquake Intensity Scale or PEIS. Intensity 1 scarcely perceptible. Intensity 2 slightly felt. Intensity 3 weak. Intensity 4, moderately strong. Intensity 5, strong. Intensity 6, very strong. Intensity 7, destructive. Intensity 8, very destructive. Intensity 9, devastating. Intensity 10, completely devastating. Now I want you to observe the data of the October 29, 2019 earthquake. The epicenter of the earthquake is in Tulunan, Cotabato. It mentions here the reported intensities. Now let's plot the reported intensities in this map. Notice that the highest intensity recorded is the one that is closest to the epicenter, which is Kedapawan City. And the lowest intensity, which is in General Santa City, is the farthest one. Thus, this would tell us that the impact of the shaking varies. The closer an area to the epicenter, the greater its impact. In other words, the closer an area to the epicenter, the higher the intensity. And the farther it is from the epicenter, 
the lower the intensity. To sum it up, we can say that the magnitude of an earthquake is the measure of the size of its strength, while intensity is an indicator of the severity of the damages at a certain area or location caused by it. I hope you learned something. If you find this video helpful, please click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so you will be updated of the videos that will be uploaded in Mongi TV. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!